and everybody, this is Code Kid with something new today. We are going to be coding JavaScript today, a code well known and pretty simple, yet also very powerful. Now, do not get this wrong, JavaScript has little to almost no relationship with raw Java. What it is mostly used for, though, is compiling large amounts of data and usually being paired with HTML and CSS. In this lesson, we will be using Firefox and its developers' tools to code with JavaScript. So let's stop listening to my professional blabbering and just jump straight into it. So on here on my screen, straight up, we just have Firefox. If you don't know how to download Firefox, then you're dumb, sorry. But all you have to do is go into Google and type in Firefox download for whatever type of laptop uh, you have and it's literally right there so right now what we're gonna do is pop up the developer tool so we're gonna go right here click uh, right click and choose inspect element and it pops up this sort of dock here I like to call it a thingamajiggy because it's a thingamajiggy but um, go to console here because we're gonna use it later and go here to one of these icons and it's going to say scratch pad click it right there but I'm not gonna click it because I already have it on another tab okay anyways um, the first few simple commands we're going to be learning today are called alert prompt and confirm so we're going to be learning three simple commands and the first one is going to be called alert all right, so uh, let me just explain to you what I did here. Don't forget to put the semicolon after every line of code you have in JavaScript. So here is the command called alert. Here are the parentheses, which you have to have for almost every single command. And inside those parentheses are going to be quotation marks, which inside of them will be something called a string. We'll learn about more about data types and strings later on, so do not worry about whatever I just said right now if it is somewhat confusing to you. Uh, let's just worry about this. And type in whatever you want, but uh, since this is going to be a stereotypical first coder's uh, YouTube video, I am going to put hello world yes I am a savage guys yeah anyways um I'm going to run this and as you can see alert is just a simple pop-up command and uh, shows you right here just a simple pop-up says whatever you want inside of those quotation marks so you can literally put whatever you want but we're just gonna move on to the <coughs> next command the next command is going to be called confirm now this command is basically just like the pop-up alert, except 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 it has uh, two options of cancel and OK. So we're going to confirm. Don't press cancel. Always put the semicolon. Key thing to know in Java. We're gonna run this. It's going to say hello world. Our alert right here, and then it's going to show us our confirm, which. Oh my goodness. Con confirm. Okay, sorry guys. Oh, tears. Anyways, um, we're going to run this. And of course, it's going to pop up our alert. Next will be our confirm. And it says do not press cancel. So of course, we're going to be a savage and press OK. And our last command here is going to be called prompt. Prompt basically uh, puts up a text box for all the users and they can enter whatever they want in it and it is very useful with variables which we are going to learn on later episodes so always keep this command in your mind because it, it is very important. So prompt we're going to say how was your experience with Java? And semicolon, of course, and we're going to run it. Here is our alert, hello world. Here is our don't press cancel. So, of course, we're going to be a savage and press OK. And how was your experience with JavaScript? <laughs> JavaScript? And we're going to say... Anyways, to cap off this video, guys, we are going to review our three simple commands, alert, confirm, and prompt. Alert basically gives you a text pop-up. Confirm gives you the option of cancel with the option of OK. And prompt uh, prompts the user for uh, an answer which they will put in the text box. 
So that is all we're going to be doing today, um, guys. Uh, I hope you liked this video. Uh, if you did, please give a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos just like this. And if you are new to this channel, always check out my other videos. And of course, as always, keep experimenting with these kinds of codes and keep coding, guys. I will see you in the next one.